Hey guys, a lot of my clients and you guys have been asking me um, what the Facebook pixel actually is or how it works. Now I think this is very important for us as marketers to understand what a pixel is and how they work so we can fully utilize it. So basically, these pixels are common on almost every marketing platform on the internet today. And what they're used to do is they're used to, it's called drop a cookie into your visitor's browser. Now, I kind of know this kind of sounds weird, but we've all seen, you know, when we clear our browsing history, we clear our cookies and our cache. So if you were to come to my website, my pixel would drop a cookie into your browser. And now I have the ability to track your movements on my website. And when you leave my website, I can kind of see some of the things you do. If I have a Facebook pixel, you know, I can track some of your movements on Facebook, that sort of thing. Yes, it sounds creepy. It is very creepy. Um, but people just aren't educated and don't know that these things exist. So that's why we're allowed to do these things. Um, so basically, these, these pixels are so powerful for us because now after a user comes to my website, I can track certain things, certain events. And now what I mean by these events, um, I'm going to show you guys really quickly, but the Facebook pixel will tell you, you know, everything from what pages they visit um, to, you know, if they add a product to your cart to if they purchase and we're going to be able to store all that data and utilize it. Um, now, the reason that these are so important is because now I can retarget to people. So depending on your niche, um, you know, we obviously want to retarget to a customer. We've paid money. They've gone to our website. And now we want to, you know, hit them with a reminder ad maybe seven days later saying, hey, I know you saw my products, but you should probably check this out. You might like this now, um, now that you've had some time to think. So I'm just bringing up, you know, my ads manager. Um, and this is what my pixel tracks. So very, very powerful tool. Um, these are just obviously the, the last seven days recordings here. But as you guys can see here, you know, I can see the people who have viewed my page in the last seven days, those 26,000 people. This is the most powerful part of this pixel now because I've got 26,000 people in this, um, in this, in my pixel that I have, I've created this audience for. So now I can hit them with retargeting ads and, you know, maybe after they've been to my website seven days later, I can have an ad pop up saying, Hey, check out this product. Um, you know, just a reminder, or I can say, Hey, this product is now on sale and give them a promo code, even though it's not just to give them that extra incentive to buy, but better yet, I've also got everyone who did purchase or did add to cart here. So I can exclude them from that audience. So the people who did purchase aren't going to see my retargeting ad that gives them a discount. So they feel, you know, upset with their purchase because they, they ended up buying it at full price. And now I'm offering it to them for 20% off. So we exclude those people from these audiences. And my next video is going to show you guys how to make, um, you know, your own retargeting campaign. Um, using this pixel. So I think it's important that we understand what the pixel is before we can implement that. But this literally will tell us everything. People who initiated the checkout, um, you know, people who just added the cart. Now, this is where these, these tools are, are incredible for us because if, if you have someone who added to cart, you know they showed intent with your product but they just didn't follow through. So maybe your shipping rates are too high. Um, you know, there could be a lot of things, but now we can figure this out and then, you know, maybe offer them free shipping seven days later so that they want to see this product. Or if you're a product that you need a very specific need for, you know, like for an event, you know, like um, let's say you sell birthday cards, uh, but you, you drive these ads to these people and they see your birthday cards and they might be interested, but then they go, I have no one that has a birthday coming up. Well, now we can track all these people and you know, hit them with another ad 30 days later or you know, three months later, and they're gonna go, oh, I remember that cool birthday card company, and now I have a need for that product. Because I think that's a lot of our issues online is we have these products, but we aren't developing a need for them. And if we can't develop a need for them, then we can simply remind them about it at a later date so that they might have a need for it then. Um, and traditionally, for me at least, and for pretty much everyone that I've ever met online, Retargeting campaigns have the lowest CPA of all your campaigns because you've already invested money in these customers. So I hope that kind of clears up what the pixel is and what the pixel can do. Um, you know, they very simplified it. So now it's only one pixel before you needed to have, you know, 15 different pixels on your site to track all of these different events. Now it's just one pixel. It's very easy to install. If you guys use Shopify, all that you need is your, uh, you know, your pixel ID. It's, it's like a 15 digit number. And you just copy and paste that into your online store preferences. It takes two seconds to set up. Um, if you aren't confident and you have a hard-coded site, uh, you know, developer will do this for $5 on Fiverr. It's, it's literally a copy and paste. 
Um, so don't, don't be discouraged by that. It's actually a very simple um, process. If you guys have any questions or comments, you know, feel free to comment on this video uh, or direct message me with anything. Um, you know, I'm posting all my content for free, so I'd really appreciate if you guys could uh, give me some support. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.